with what's going on YouTube today we've got a bit of a twist I'm not just vlogging one car I'm vlogging two cars at the same time tell me what you think of these cars they look absolutely mental have a look at this everyone You alright guys? Thanks right, thanks for coming on the channel. You right, can see some crazy graphics all over your cars. What what what's that actually about? Is, is it a sponsor something or what it is, we um well, I run a car club, high tech characters. Okay. Um and basically we're trying to get kids involved um in the car scene, plus we deal with autistic charities. Yeah. Um and mind charities, mental health and stuff. Fair enough. So yeah, they're all about raising money for, for, for mainly autistic children so that's for a good cause then yeah it's all e even cool. like even like looks stunning both of them do you know what i mean it's actually for a good cause do you know what i mean yeah but yeah is, have you had the cars long or about, i've had this one about four years yeah about saying about four years both four years yeah just can tell you've spent a lot of money on it looking at the engine bays and so on yeah it's a never-ending plot yeah. unfortunately money yeah that's it definitely money fits. yeah are you looking to go any bigger on power are you happy with the power they're at now is, are you, is anyone really ever happy with the power? <laughs> no. You get too used to it. Fully wanna, false. I think yeah. next, next fully false for me. Yeah. So what power was the blue one? This one's about uh, 356. It's on a stage three with 568 new meters. Yeah. Um, that's that's basically got the block mod, um, RS uh, fuel pump, oh. RS injectors, uh, RS stage one intercooler. Yeah. It's pretty much got a loads of RS in, um, internals on it. Yeah, fair enough. What what about the white one? What sort of power is the white one? This is running 386, um, 598 newton meters tall. Yeah. Um, it's on a stage four, uh, Nemesis stage four map. Um, again, same as these really, all, all RS internals. It's got RS software though, this one. Yeah. So yeah, it's... Um, all right shall we go out for a little drive and i'll have the little honest review on both of them Definitely. yeah all right we'll be back soon guys i'll be in the car and i'll give you my honest review see you lot soon Uh, 568 new meters at all. Alright, for, for those of them who 
who are obviously watching my videos or don't know too much about these cars, does it take a lot to get it to this sort of power? Yeah, it needs a lot. Basically, it's uh, got a full three inch system yeah. that goes through there. It helps with the, um, the flow of the um, power as well. Yeah. Uh, I've got block mod on this. It's basically to protect the liners from cracking, which they're quite common on the STs. Uh, it's pretty much a lot a lottery really. It either cracks or it don't. Fair enough. Uh, with some block mods, some crack. It's only due to they might have missed it when I've done the actual block mod itself. Yeah. Um, with it, you need uh, an intercooler. It's got bigger boost pipes, uh, reset valve, uh, turbo smart um, actuator as well on these. So it can turn the PSI up. Yeah. Um, but yeah, basically, there's a lot of actually work so that goes I, into these. So that's what I was about to say. So it's quite an actual lot of work. What yeah. you need to do just to get it to this sort of power is uh, so like I was saying earlier, you said that you was uh, doing like for charity and stuff like that. Do you yeah, because um, basically we, we do a lot uh, for kids with um, autism, disabilities, and in our club we've got a lot of. Uh, uh, people with uh, all types of disabilities like suffering with mental health Fair enough. so raising money for them and obviously car shows as well it's a bit different yeah. than a, like a, a normal car that you show off it attracts more family yeah, yeah that's it so and going to a show you want to take your family with you and obviously the kids they, yeah. they actually love their car itself as well and you always get like birthdays and people do like big convoys of cars and, yeah. and they just love it my, my i've got three kids obviously my little girls loves cars my little boy who's uh three he loves cars like he, he would love this car as well because of all the graphics you've got down the side uh you were saying that obviously you know the person what does all the graphics and all that he seems like he does a good job yeah he's a mark one graphics um he does literally all, all types of cars he, he does like shop signs yeah. car graphics Fair you name enough. it he basically does it Fair enough. Uh, and he's a good designer as well and then he's got like reasonable prices yeah so so would you sort of class this car as more of like a sort of show and shine car or a bit in between a bit power? of in between because obviously you've got the bonnet once you look into the bonnet you, you see it's all nice and the outside's more like for the fun sort of looking yeah, thing but yeah. it's still goes together with it it's still got power. different yeah yeah because you think about cars to too many cars that look the same yeah no, and I, it's nice to mix it up a little bit well i i, I sort of thought it was a bit strange because obviously i thought i was just vlogging one car today obviously your mate coming along mm -hmm. as well and then i see all the graphics on both cars i'm not i'm not gonna lie i actually look quite cool do you know what i mean as i'm saying it's good to be different instead yeah. of the same as i said the, a lot of people are getting to know this car now as well yeah um, but as I said, it's a good thing because it helps more towards the charity and more raising the money for like the kids with autistic and yeah. autism and stuff like that, as I said before. Well, like you were saying earlier with the other guy, what I'm going to be in his car next, like I said, everyone, it's a bit of a twist today. So I'm going to be in this car doing a little five, ten minute vlog and I'm going to be in the other car doing a little five, ten minute vlog. But you were saying earlier about how most people just take the piss out of being in a Ford uh, with all the graphics yeah, and stuff. Yeah, because a lot of people don't understand that. They look at a car like this and they think, oh, why would you do that to like a car like that? So you do get a lot of hate, yeah. as well as but get, you get more positive once they find out it's about for mental health, yeah. it's for people with disabilities. Yeah. It's, it's all different sorts of things. Yeah. But and, then, nice, and cars like this, as I said, like it does stand out from all the rest. Yeah, no, definitely. Well, yeah, it definitely does stand out. But nice, it's, it's it's a loud car, obviously being straight three inch decat the whole way. Yeah. Spits some big flames as well. It's, yeah, it's a it's a section 18 on these. That's pretty much says it in the word section 18. Yeah. And it's probably one of the exhaust loudest exhausts you can have on the uh, the ST. Oh, is it? Is that the make of it? Yeah, it's yeah. a KMS. It's a KMS uh, section 18. That's what it's called. So how much roughly, if you don't mind saying? you say the car actually owes you now too much so i can't but i probably would have bought about uh two or three of these yeah but as i said I, like, people think how, how did you afford to do this so i've had the car for like five years so it's been bit by so it's bit. bit by bit and like I, when i first bought the car someone wanted to make their car standard yeah so i had a lot of standard parts and they said basically do you want to swap your parts 
for my parts. And you had a little bit And of I money. had a little bit of a result, so I was able to swap the exhaust system, swap yeah. the bonnet, vents, um, his plenum, yeah. and it, all he wanted was like a little 50 pound on top. Yeah, a little so bit of money. So all that top. money would usually cost people about a grand, yeah. and it cost me 50 quid, because he, he just fell out of love with the car. Fair enough. Was so it? it was quite a result to yeah. actually be able to do these things, but that's how you meet people in the car scene that want to help each other out, which is quite a good thing. Well, this is the thing what most people have vlogged their cars and that is, to me, it seems like it's always the same thing. It's always a hate thing now. Yeah, there's a lot of hate in the car it's scene. It's like no one enjoys other people's cars. Like, people would look at some cars and go, oh, that looks like a piece of shit, where some people would look at it and go, oh, that's nice, but it's more the piece of shit. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you don't really get many nice people actually, like, see how much effort you've put into this car that's what a lot of people say you, like, they buy the car and then they say oh you you bought it but you didn't build it yeah. and stuff like that there is a fun factor of building the car and see it change over time yeah but as i said with that the, the car scene it, it is about oh because you've got a latest car or you got got an old car but i prefer an oldish car to a later car yeah to be fair enough. um the only reason why because most of the classic cars are dying out yeah, exactly. and you don't see it and i love my old with Sierra Cosworth, Sierra yeah. School, Cosworth and stuff like that. That's how I, I, like, I got into it, really. Yeah, no, it's true. But the, the car is clean. As you said earlier about the, the underneath the bonnet, like, it looks really clean. Obviously, you can see some tasteful mods on it. Uh, who maps the car? Hypertune. Hypertune, yeah. Yeah, they do a Nemesis uh, map. Most yeah. of their maps are quite brutal. Yeah. Um, so they don't hold back then. No, they don't. They've got, they, they have a lot of talk on the cars as well. Um, they're in development of a bigger turbo at the moment to uh, try and push basically the factors even more. And yeah. I think that's Remap BHP yeah. who actually do a lot of their tuning as well. All right. So, so you've, all the bits what you've basically put on the car is actually from uh, Focus RS. Yeah. Is, is that how Focus RS has come standard then? Yes, because yeah. as I said, you've got the injectors which come from the Focus RS and they're f uh, 440 on this CC. But it all depends on the mapper really, because you can have a stage three, you can have 550s. It, as I said, it all depends on the actual map itself. Yeah. Well, if you want to put your foot down a little bit now, Sometimes you can feel that little bit extra in most cars, but it, it all depends on the tyres as well. Because I'm running um, PS4s, yeah. uh, I did run uh, budgets, yeah. and you can't, you can't get no grip. Fair enough. Literally, because the, the, of the drive shafts, all front wheel drive just literally you need wheel some speed. Some tires on but Michelin yeah. PS4s, yeah. Uh, highly recommend if you yeah. want to start going more power with yeah, these sort yeah. of cars. Yeah, that's 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 what I run on all my cars, the PS4 S's. Yeah, when, that's when the it, ones. When it goes up to a bit of power, you need that extra bit of grip. Yeah. Right, man. But these these ones are really good in the wet as well. Yeah. So, like most cars, are just literally wheel spin, wheel spin, wheel yeah. spin. And then with these, they actually give it oh, a good no, thing. Because no, no, no. you can leave the traction off on these, like it's really hard to get grip. Yeah, no, I believe you. They come with a lot. They, they get a lot of torque. Yeah, through the, the front wheels. Games. But as I said, the the drive shafts are chocolate. They're yeah. rubbish. Uh, do you want to, obviously this video is going to be a bit short because obviously I've got to vlog your friend's car yeah, as well But is there any social medias or anything you want me to plug for you and I'll put it in the description uh, well, our, well the car club I actually go for is High Tech Characters yeah. um, Obviously got my own Instagram as well which is uh, Chase225ST yeah. um, High Tech Characters have also got uh, an Instagram of themselves 
Um, then that's, that's pretty much that's it, really. It, yeah. All right, guys. Well, and girls, I keep on saying guys. Uh, I'm going to jump in the, the facelift one now, the one with uh, the boot mod with all the sound system and so on. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you lot soon, but I'll give my honest review on this one as I'm trying to give an honest review on every car. I'd say I'd say I'd probably rate this car out of 10. It's my own opinion, so don't take it personal. No, that's I'd, prob fine. I'd probably give it a six and a half, seven out of 10 due to obviously the sound, it, it being nippy, it's not, it's not slow. And yeah, obviously it's very loud as you can hear. Yeah. Very loud. <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to jump in the other one now and I'll see you lot soon. Bye. So everyone, we're in the uh, other Ford Focus ST now. This is the facelift one, isn't it? It yeah. is a facelift, yeah. 2011. Yeah. So what power did you say this was again? 380? 386 this one. Yeah. I bet that was a bit annoying not getting to the, the 400 brake mark. It, it was very annoying, but <laughs> at the same time, because the engine's not forged yet, yeah. it's only just had the block mod, so I don't want to don't want to push it too hard and blow the engine. Yeah. So. so what's actually the difference between your friend's one and this one? Because they seem like they put similar spec. Yeah, they're, they're asked, yeah, they're very similar. Um, obviously, I'm on a stage four map, whereas he's on a stage three, so he yeah. has got a bit more torque, he's got a bit more power. Yeah. Um, I think he's running 440 injectors. I think I've got 650s on and this, so. Uh, so it's only a couple of little Yeah, there's, there's not loads. I mean, I've got RS software as well. Yeah. Which is, he's, he's actually running standard ECU standard software, so. Uh, and do these, so I'm guessing you've got to upgrade the clutch and all yeah, of that stuff. Got, yeah, it's got an RS clutch in it. Um, yeah. yeah, so that, that was quite heavy, but it's got a quick shifter in this one as well. Uh, I'm so not sure if he's got, got that, but yeah. Yeah, fair enough, and obviously, the main thing, what's noticeable difference, this has got air ride as well. Yeah, I love me, uh, love me air ride. Yeah. That's a good little mod. This looks good to show, so. Yeah, no, it's good. But yeah. This, obviously, you can see it's got air ride, everyone, and it's actually got like a, what do they call it? Like a boot mod for the sound system. Yeah, like a boot build for the sound system, yeah, so. Yeah. For, for the viewers out there what like sound systems, can you sort of say what one it is, or? It's all ground zero. Um, there's three amps in the back there, there's a backup battery. Yeah. Um, there's okay. about 4,000 watts of power, I think. Yeah. So it was fair enough. But yeah, it's, um, yeah, it's, no, no, uh, it's uh, at the moment, yeah, it's, it will do for power. Well, but when, when you look back. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it, I'll, I'm going to get it upgraded again soon. So I'm not happy with it. I, want it, I want it louder, so. Yeah, but this is what I don't understand. So if you actually, in theory, do do it a bit louder. Surely that's just going to smash the windows, isn't it? Or... Funny enough, you say that when the first time we turned the system on, I cracked the windscreen. No, I had a chip in the windscreen. I didn't know. So oh. as soon as we turned it up, instantly cracked. <laughs> yeah, crazy paved the window. So oh, that's not good. I sort of learned by that mistake. But as long as you've got the windows open, so that the actual air can get out, yeah. it's not as bad. So are you looking to forge the car and go bigger turbo or is yeah, this Yeah, I, I think I will, in time, definitely. Yeah. Uh, obviously, everything's to do with money, innit? Yeah, so exactly. it, it, and it's whether I want to do the sound system or the power first, really. Yeah, I like your sound. I, I asked your mate as well, uh, obviously you don't have to say it yourself, but do you know roughly what it's sort of cost you for the like, <laughs> all-round build, like with the car and... Oh, with the car as well? Yeah, like uh, as like a total. Uh, with the car as well, I'm probably looking at just over 40 grand. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a, it's a lot of money for an ST, I know, but I just, I just love it. But do you know what it is though, mate? It's not, like, this is your pride and joy. Obviously, yeah. you said it, you've had it four years. Yeah, yeah. So, at the end of the day, it's your pride and joy. Some people might disagree and say, how oh, can you spend that much money on just a Ford Focus ST? Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. Some people might agree and want to do the same as what you've done to it. Yeah. But they can't because of fund-wise. Mm. So it is at the end, like you can't please everyone. It's like me when I'm vlogging. Some people might go, oh, this, this, this dude does my nothing. Some people go, no, he's actually honest. Yeah. Like, I like watching his vlog, so you can't really. Oh yeah, don't say, you're never, never going to please everyone. Exactly. Yeah. So you get your own sort of crowd. Yeah, definitely. You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, you can put your foot down a little bit if you want to, just feel it. Five litre engines, it's just that five pot. It's just that 
sound. It's, it's, the, it's, love it. it's unreal. I love the sound of it. Yeah, you, just, uh, you can really notice. You can just notice like the pull and everything with the torque because they do make a lot of torque, don't they? So. Oh yeah. Well, it's close to 400. Uh, fuck 400. Sorry, 600. So fuck what, five, 598. The torque so on it. what's that in foot pounds? Do you know roughly? I wish I did. Is, um, that, is that probably? Around, I'm I'm gonna guess probably around the 450 foot. I pounds. think it is. Yeah, I think it is. I, I remember it. Well, I, I don't remember clearly, but um, yeah, it's around around about four and a half. Yeah. Nice. No, it's, it's a nice car. Obviously, getting out of the uh, the pre facelift into the facelift. Uh, me being honest, I don't really know what's actually that much of a difference. Well, this is an ST2. So this has got the cloth interior. Yes, yeah, so it's got the cloth interior, not heated seats, stuff yeah. like that. He obviously had the ST3 with the leather yeah. and stuff like that, which I don't know I'll ever anyway, to be honest. It's it gets too sticky in, too in the summer. Sweaty, especially for our sort of size. Exactly, it's, yeah. It's too much, isn't it? And it's freezing cold in the winter, so. Yeah, it's, it is drone. There's a few little bumps. It is, it is bumpy, isn't it? But I'll tell you what I don't notice straight away, and obviously you said it, you, did you, you got all this done, didn't you? Yeah, all this Alcantara, yeah. yeah. The Alcantara door cards, like, it generally don't feel like I'm sitting in a Focus ST because I actually <laughs> owned one myself. Yeah. It was a ST3. Uh, I'm not sure actually. I think it was an ST2 or an ST3. I can't actually remember. Yeah. But shamefully, I had that for a week and I blew it up. <laughs> I don't know why. I just drove it out. I drove any other normal car and it just blew up. <laughs> but like the inside of this one, because you've done so much work to it, it don't actually feel like you're in one. Yeah. Like you've even changed like the little badges on the steering wheel yep. and stuff oh, like no, that. Uh, you know what I mean? All so, part of the character. Yeah. I want to change the seats next as well because I'm not happy with the seats. What these ones? Yeah, I want. I just want bigger bolsters so they look more. Hold you in yeah, a bit better yeah, as well. Just, you know, I need a bit of, bit of comfort, a bit of loving. Yeah, yeah no, a bit of hugging. I, yeah, I know what you're saying. <laughs> but I do actually notice a difference. I know uh, people might think like, well, you didn't really give it enough foot down, but. I've actually been in the car just before, obviously, I put the recorder on, so I felt the power. Mm. And uh, I think you can notice a slight difference. I know it's only 20 brake horsepower, but you can notice a little bit of a yeah. difference in, like, more higher up the rev range. It yeah, pulls yeah, yeah. you back a little bit more. Have you two had a little play before with each other? We have. We have. We've had a few plays, um, and he's always lost. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. <laughs> and he'll hate me for saying that, but... At the end of the day, it's facts, though, isn't it? Yeah, so, yeah. Eventually, he'll get there, and he, he wants to go fully full at some point, doesn't he? So, yeah. that's going to be where it, you know, where it, where it really uh, shows him in from the boys, I suppose. Yeah, that's it. But I, I don't, I don't notice a difference as well because I've never been in a car with air ride apart from previously. The it's other a lot car. harder ride, I think. No, see, off. I don't reckon. No, left it. Yeah, see, I, I personally think that this is a lot smoother. All oh, right. Yeah, I think it's easy to coil over, isn't it? Yeah. But I generally think that this is smooth on. Yeah, I don't know just... why, that's just my honest opinion. You yeah. might not think it, he might not buy it. Yeah, see, I feel it's a harder ride. I mean, when you when you put the air ride on max to go over speed humps, which you have to do quite a lot. Yeah. Which is a bit annoying, but then, it, then it's rock hard. It's yeah. rock hard then. Yeah, see, I can imagine that, because then that's... But then it, it might just feel like you're on coilovers again when you yeah, yeah. Rock, like, put it to its maximum. But when you're just driving around like this now... Yeah. This feels a lot smoother. That's what the, I personally yeah, think. Yeah. But yeah, no, the car's all right. It's, yeah. Me being honest, it's not my type of car I would personally purchase, even though I've had one. Yeah. But I, I needed to try it out. Just I went and bought one. Just to, I needed to feel what it was like. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. But it, that's just my own opinion. Not everyone's got the same taste. But I love the graphics on both of your cars. I think it's really good uh, for the kids. Yeah, and yeah. for the stuff you're promoting for like the mental health and, and the autism charities yeah. autism charities and stuff like that yeah, but, that's, that's mainly what we started the club for really yeah just you know to to, to raise money and awareness really of, yeah exactly that's of mental health and, and autism so but yeah shamefully everyone it's obviously going to be a short little video because obviously i vlogged the other st and now this one it was a bit of a mix up today. I thought I was only vlogging one, but I thought as they both come, I'll try and do something a bit different and do them both at the same time. But is there any any social medias what you want me to plug in the description for you? I mean, we've got our high tech characters Insta page. Yeah. Uh, we've got 
Well, this one's got Brian Official, it's only Insta page. Yeah. Um, yeah, High Tech Characters on Facebook. Yeah. Is that it? That's it, really, mainly. Yeah. All right, well, thanks, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, if you want to see more content, just please like, share, and subscribe. And there's a lot more content on the way. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.